Hi there, and welcome to week 13 of the semester. If you're watching this during week 13, I'm actually cross country in Virginia and then Washington, D.C. Uh, for a week to 10 days, and I will be checking my email every day, so please correspond with me that way if you need to reach me. And uh, I just want to talk a little bit about the what you need to get done this week before we have our Thanksgiving break. And you can take off and enjoy yourself or just stay here and relax. The focus of this week is really shifting into revision and also to utter, sort of better understanding the portfolio situation for the semester. I'm going to point out some of the basic assignments first, and then there's a series of videos about the portfolio. So I'm not going to go much into the portfolio here because you'd be able to get all the details there. Okay. This week you do have a writer's toolbox reflection, which is asking you to sort of look at the work and the writing that you've done this semester and identify which pieces may be the ones or are going to be the ones that are going into your portfolio. What are their strengths? What work do you need to continue to do on them? Okay, all of those things. And any questions you might have about the portfolio after viewing all the contents on the website about it. You're also going to format, you're going to do a first time, you're going to do this for your portfolio as well as one other practice run as well. Um, you're going to upload a document, okay, and it's really quite simple. I'm going to ask you to format an essay according to the portfolio guidelines, okay, spacing, margins, all the font, all the things that are required of that, and then all you're going to do is choose add a submission here, and you're going to attach your folder as a, as a, your file here and upload it that way. That way I can open it, I can see it exactly as it is, and you will be able to submit that to me and I can just make a note on your comments, on your margins, on your formatting. I won't actually be looking at the essay per se, but actually at how it's formatted to make sure you're meeting the requirements for the portfolio committee. It's, this is the formatting, it's really going to work best if you are using Microsoft Word. And if you don't have Microsoft Word on your computer and you've been using Google Docs or another one, it might be helpful to go to a campus computer and format it there. Um, if you do an RTF or a PDF, it sometimes loses some of the formatting cues that will help me know whether you're meeting the right requirements. So a Microsoft Word document is the best for me to be able to note this. I will be able to give you some general information about things that are obviously wrong if you use a different format, but I won't be able to op open anything like WordPerfect or anything like that. On my computer, I have um, Word and then I, I could open PDFs or RTF files. Okay. This week you also have your essay number three, draft and revision response group. This is a full essay. Last week's was uh, optional for people who wanted to get feedback on their outline or early draft. This is the official only um, workshop or response group dedicated to essay number three. And you'll see I have set it up a little bit differently I'm going to ask that instead of having your names here, you're going to post in the order that you come to post your essays. So if you come and you click on number one through four, you see that there's nobody posted, you're going to reply to this. If you come and there's a couple people posted, you're going to look to see if there are in fact you know, two or three people posted. If there's room for you as a fourth, post your essay there. If not, go ahead to number five through eight and keep going that way until you reach one that has an opening. There should be four people per group, so make sure that there are not more than four in that group and post to it, or you can, as I said, go to the next group over, okay, and just keep checking that way. This is uh, the time for your final self-assessment for your research collections and curation, so please get that completed as well. And as part of your portfolio overview, you're going to be your portfolio is going to have you pick a number to use instead of your name for your portfolio. And for here, all you're going to have to do is choose a number. Okay, so that will help you have the information for filling that in. I'm not going to be available uh, for face-to-face -face office hours this week because I am traveling. But if you have questions, I will do my best to check email daily. And this week and next in the week of Thanksgiving, I'm going to get all caught up on grading. I'm sorry I fell a little bit behind. I had a couple bouts of illness and then taking off, but I'm hoping to get lots of work done in airports across America. So uh, grades should be all caught up by the time we get back from Thanksgiving break. And if you have a specific question about something, go ahead and email me. Don't wait for me to respond to something on your assignment if you have a concern about it. I don't want it to hold you up. 
Have a great week 13, and have a great Thanksgiving break next week, and you'll hear from me again in week 14. Take care. Bye-bye.